Yeah, and we have to untangle the bloody dog again. You, pain in the ass. You just tangle everything up. So just doing a quick video on awnings. I'm looking for a daytime awning, basically. So I can just throw up there quick and like, you know, if we go to a beach or something like that. And the ones I've got, that's yeah. Scruffy Head. <laughs> you help him there. <laughs> and the the one I've got is uh, the two big ones really. And they've like, got the tent inside it. It's more so for weekend stuff and that. Like I said, I just want them a bit easier and that. So I've purchased, right, one of these. There's some canopy. So we're going to see what this is like. And it's supposed to be like an air on and you can see the side here. This actually comes separately. So you get the air on and, uh, the air sun canopy. And then you get the ones with the side ones as well, so you can make it a little bit private if you want it. Um, that's a dual sidewall set, twin pack. And it all come in about 160 quid. <laughs> we didn't get the dog with it. <laughs> all come in about 60 quid and that. We've got the scruffy dog as well, helping us. That makes sense. She's on a lead because she uh, runs off all the time. Chance to get out the van. Wee, wee. Oh, she's chasing. Must be a cat or something. Yeah, so we're going to try this now, but the reason why I've not gone for a FEMA or FEMA, what is the call? I can't remember what they're called. Um, on my van, is show you up top. There's nowhere to fit it in on the brackets, because I've got an awning rail here, for one of my awning um, tents. I've got an inner rail, which is here, and then obviously the roof. So there's actually no place I could put the brackets. I mean, you probably might have to here, but I'm not too sure where. They actually mount. I always thought it was in the recess part of it or just under. So it's not really an option. And like 500 quid. Which is here. You got a boat. It's only been a tight task. Going for cheap and nasty. Oh, we'll see if they are anyway. So we'll get this set up with our helper. George, you're going on me, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then um, we'll see how it goes. See what they're like. Right, so in this kit, we've got the bag from Strauss Design on some destructions. You get a pump with it, which is quite good. That pump will actually come in handy with the other stuff as well, but you've actually got another pump. This looks like a central support bloat bar. And then we've got the tent. Hello! Take a ball. Are you sure you're a man, you? Uh. <laughs> I dealt no good. Right, so Maple. That's the bad one really, got the three attachments here. Straps are they're nice, I like them. Like good idea actually you whip them off, but you can see it's quite solid that. It doesn't really move anywhere, so if it's not windy like you don't you're not I don't think you're gonna need a guide ropes there. Little pump section there at the bottom, as you see, and then the pole land actually attaches here velcro one in here and then one at the back edge here. I think what I'll do is, um, because this is on a low rail on this one, is actually put it on the top rail so it gives that a little bit more height. So then the tube will then sit on the top of the van as opposed to in the door channel a bit there. So that's just my mistake that I've done that, but I'll tell you what. Absolute spot on that. I'm happy with it. So I think what we'll do, try these sides, we'll try these sides on it now, see what the size is like on it. See what it's like, just get them on. Right, so you can see what the size now, these just zip on. These are absolutely spot on, these. And that just runs to the bottom there, and then that can be pegged at the bottom then, when you're parked up. Just gives that a little bit of a proves you really, doesn't it? Like I say, you stick some chairs in there, and that is absolutely bob on that. It's a nice little area as well. Not too overly too big. And it's bob on for a day trip. Like I say, it's, um, it's a nice little setup. Maple. You just bought it. Not bad for um, 160 quid for all lot. Not a bad little mod actually. Do for day time, though, wouldn't it? I want to eat in, I don't know. Whew. Get them sides off quick. I feel like it's sort of content. Like you say, it's just random camping stuff there. So I just thought I'd stick in there. It's not actually breaking something on the van this time. And actually went up alright, but give us a thumbs up. See you on next one. This is Spencer. Yeah, and we have to untangle the bloody dog again. You. Pain in the ass. You just tangle everything up. Don't you? We need to do <laughs> it. What's the dog, George? Bye.
because we're, do we're doing the camping cha channel tomorrow, so bye! The reality is you're doing a video for YouTube, right, when you've got kids, dog, and everyone else faffing about it, moaning about it. I've got George you now destroying the maple thing now, trying to untangle the dog. I've got a mountain of mess to all the junk to keep bringing out. And I've got this little rat. Sanch, say hello. Terrorising everybody. Anytime I even walk past the dog, just goes for her. Well, not goes for him, he just tries to lick him to death. Heavily edited. Uh...